It has finally happened. After so much asking, so much waiting, and let's be honest, more than a little bit of complaining on social media, Articulate have finally delivered us the Rise update we've been asking for. Themes. We can finally create Rise courses that don't, well, look like Rise courses. So let's dive in and take a look at what they've given us. So for this video, we're just looking at the new functionality. So I'm just going to use one of the existing template courses in Rise, open that up. Um, this is not changed at all, but the, the big thing, the exciting thing with its new badge up here are the theme options. So this is, I guess, what we're very used to seeing is what Rise courses look like. You click that and you get this, you know, lovely, sort of uh, menu system that everyone loves and no one is tired of seeing at all. Um, so let's go back to the home and see what we can do in terms of changing theme. Um, so it seems like we have three, Rise, Apex and Horizon. Um, we also have My Themes, though that's coming soon. This is actually nice. I like the fact that something is, uh, is marked up as coming soon. Um, it kind of at least it makes me think Articulate are still working on this at least this is not a one and done launch thank goodness because I'm not gonna lie three options is not exactly inspiring um, let's see what each of these do so that seems to change the shape of the top bar and does seem to be it what about on the next page any general I suppose there's a there's some slight changes here on the menu by the looks of it. Oh yeah, I, well, that's quite a substantial change actually. I think it's just additional spacing and maybe a slightly different way of separating things out perhaps. Um, it, 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 it's a change, I suppose. I, I don't think it's substantial, um, if I'm honest. It's kind of quite similar there. Um, so let's try uh, let's try going back to the start and this other one here. Okay, so this is a much more substantial change. Um, this is almost um, sort of Squarespace esque, isn't it? Um, so actually, this looks like this one has fully removed the side menu, um, and so we're now looking at a Rise course that doesn't have um, the Rise bar, as I often call it. Um, we just have a start button and the description and information down here. That's interesting. So that that's a fairly major UI change. Um, so that's the Horizon uh, option. Let's put that back to normal because I did notice before we came in here. Yeah, there are some more changes here that seem more specific. Um, um, so cover page. Oh, oh, okay. So it looks like for the theme, you then have different potential styles. Now, for those of you who use it, this is very similar to what Evolve do. Um, I mean, much more locked down. This is clearly just um, a set list of variations as opposed to freedom of the user to design something. But it is still a big step forwards. So I'm guessing these are all the sort of standard orientations, left, right splits, two thirds splits, center alignment, these kinds of things. So if we went back and changed the theme from Rise to Horizon, saved that, uh, yes, confirm that, and then went to cover page, yes, there we go, look, we would get those same alignments, but applied to this uh, totally different theme. So there's quite a lot of potential there then for variation. Um, the option to add a logo, I guess that would fairly heavily change the look and feel here as well. So that's interesting. Um, navigation. Oh, okay. So this looks like you have options about whether or not you want sidebar, compact. What's compact when it's at home? Does that just mean it's hidden away somewhere? So if you look at this, the compact option loads the menu down to this little box down here in the corner and I'm guessing, yeah, you can then expand it out. That's really cool. That's a nice alternative. Um, I'm not quite sure what the real benefit of doing that. I suppose it, it take, just takes up less space on the screen, I suppose. That's, that is actually a fairly uh, reasonable thing. Um, these are different colour options, I take it. Oh, these are still compact. Um, so I guess in the normal one, okay, so you can, even inside the existing bar design, you can um, sort of change the 
change the color profile still within the existing theme colors though uh, which keeps that nice and easy overlay what's this gonna be then so this looks like a very different um oh this is cool okay so this is like a proper pop-up menu so this is very kind of wix or um squarespace-esque again um they've clearly taken a lot of kind of best practices and sort of ui ux elements from those uh web design platforms um it looks like we can actually turn navigation on and off completely restrict navigation have a search option i think that's growing in popularity now a lot and i'm really glad to see it here um marking lessons complete allow learners to mark lessons oh, okay so giving users the option to say something is complete rather than just reporting on it that's very interesting allowing them to control video playback speeds i don't think much of that is actually new as such but uh, it's nice to know where it is um lesson headers okay so this is just some basic control over what the what the lesson headers are going to look like uh, the height uh, whether or not the oh, whether or not the avatar is going to be there, you can move the lesson numbers. So the, this is sort of standard, but again, nicer and more aligned with these new themes, which is great. Um, colors, still just selecting an accent color. This is something I really wish they would do better. Um, when you look at platforms like Evolve, Adapt, um, and again, all those web design platforms, you don't choose an accent color, you choose a, a, a palette, you create a palette, and you assign that to different um, kind of uh, preset tags. I would love to see them put something like that in here, which would allow you to go, yes, this is the overall theme, but within the theme, I want X, Y, and Z styles that I can apply to different uh, different components or different pages or different sections of the course that would be I think for me that would be the next big step to take this to the next level um, fonts I'm guessing yeah this is no real change you've got your fonts um, is it just choose one font and it applies it to everything it seems to be um, though it is clearly different oh right okay so it looks like you just have your standard um, uh, heading and body uh, text markers going on in the background, so it's automatically assigning them. I guess then you control them at a, an object level as well. Um, okay, yeah, you can add 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 new fonts. That's good. Uh, again, nothing new, I don't think. This will be interesting. So block. So I'm hoping in here we're going to find um, kind of what I was just talking about, the ability to alter how the theme applies to different blocks um, or interactions within your course or not. Okay, so you can control the animations, but everything else is coming soon. Hey, at least, at least they've said it's coming soon corners so square and rounded corners I, it's difficult to get excited about that i would have to say about time um as opposed to yay uh same with customized padding between blocks uh, it's good it should already have been there um i i find this to be very basic functionality it's good that it's coming soon and again it's great that articulate telling us it's coming soon I am forced to ask why these were not included before now, but hey, so that seems to be it for the new themes section. Overall, I think there's there's quite a lot to be happy about here. I think the fact that we are no longer just stuck here is a major step forward in of itself. Um, this, I think, is a kind of everyone's going to be comfortable with this. I would suggest it's still very recognisable as a rise course. Um, but it's got at least some some style to it, if you will. Um, it's not just straight lines, which I like. Um, certainly this horizon theme, this is what I want to see more of. Ultimately, what I'd like to see is Rise as a tool move to more of a kind of CSS grid system like Squarespace or Wix or um, certain WordPress builders like Beaver Builder and things like that um, that do just allow you to, you know, freely move things around. Maybe not to the extent of like a Webflow um, or Xcode or something, but just a bit more than what we've had. And this is clearly a step in the right direction. So before we finish up, I just want to pop this on here, go back, change the cover page to maybe, 
Um, so let's leave it as the, as the standard, the centered image one. Um, let's have the navigation as an overlay. I really like this. I think that looks so much better than a, a side menu. Um, I want to allow them to complete. I don't want to restrict navigation. Um, and then let's just go back. I want to see what this course then looks like because I think it's going to look so much better. See, straight away, as a, as a user, okay, I'd probably get rid of, I still don't like the idea of the author's name being on the courses, I think that's odd. Um, immediately, this looks so much more professional than traditional RISE courses. Um, going into it, okay, so it's not made massive differences to the, the content, I imagine there's a lot more you could do with it if you got into the, the kind of um, block level interaction changes, but the fact that now rather than this constant menu brick over here, um, or it appearing whenever I click the button, I've now got a, a website style menu. This is so much better. Um, I love the, the, you know, the, the style of this. Um, I like it. Um, maybe I think this you know, it could be a bit bolder with colour, um, but the overall style, I like it. That's going to be a very kind of personal thing and a very brand related thing, but I think it's really nice. Um, love the fact that search function, that's, that's a brilliant bit of, um, a bit of UI there, just replacing the whole thing rather than coming up with a dinky little search option up here. Love that. That whole menu system is such a needed improvement. Um, it seems so small, um, but I really appreciate that. Um, I think it's, uh, yeah, just, just a big, big step forwards all round. And this is what's always disappointed me of Rise in the past, um, is that I desperately want to use it. I want it to be a great tool. I want to be able to create easily accessible mobile learning um, using my articulate license. I don't want to have to go to another tool. Now, does this get it all the way there? For me, the answer is no. This is not the final form of Rise that's going to get me to come back to using it for client work or in-house work versus uh, Evolve or Adapt or Comedian Creator. But it is a massive step forwards towards that compared to where we were a week ago even. I think what's impressed me the most about this is the fact it's been rolled out seemingly quite quickly. There has not been a lot of run-up hype generated around it, and that could be for one of two reasons, I suppose. One, Articulate deliberately wanted to give us something we weren't expecting, get people excited about a tool that is not that well regarded among developers. Or, they may have been really unconfident about the reception it was going to receive. But I actually think this will be very well received. I think for those who already use Rise, it's just mortals. I think it's very overdue, and that may be the one thing that really continues to hold Rise back, is for those who don't use it, they often don't regard it as an even potentially useful tool. It is often discarded out of hand because of just how limited and locked down it has been since it launched. It launched with a lot of fanfare, it was going to totally change things. A lot of us thought, well, you know, I've spent all this time learning Storyline and now we're going to be stepping away from Storyline. Uh, obviously that did not happen, it was so locked down and so restrictive at launch. And you've been getting gradual little additions. This is by far the biggest and the best addition to Rise in my mind since it launched. And if they continue with launches like this, I think they will start to win people back over and get people like me thinking, hey, maybe Rise could be a viable tool. Maybe I don't need all these other licenses. Maybe I can just get by with my Articulate 360 license, at least as an internal employee. As a contractor, as a freelancer, realistically, you still want the whole toolkit. I do not see Rise, you know, going into the world of Evolve and Adapt. But if it can get halfway there, it will become a fantastic and potentially industry-leading tool. 
Thanks for tuning into this video. I'd love to hear what you think of this new update to Rise. How are you going to be using the themes? Do you think this is needed? Overdue? Not quite there yet? And what are you creating? Share some review links in the comments and let's uh, see what we're all up to.